Right, hey, so um, in the past I did this at Mala Mala. So I've just wrapped up, my voice is a little bit dodgy for those of you that have been following on Instagram. Um, I've just wrapped up a private guided trip here at Angama Mara, which is in the Mara Triangle. It's about, oh God, 35 Ks kilometers from my camp, um, which is down over that way. So like I did with a couple of lodges in the past, I'm gonna do a one take through kind of walk through of the place so you can see what it's about. So uh, this place is all about the views. Um, the Mara Triangle, if you look at a map of the Mara Triangle, on the northern point where the escarpment comes down, they're right on the top there. So I'm gonna show you around and then at the end kind of give you the pros and cons, what's amazing, and one or two things I think that can change, or can't actually, but it's a thing. But um, let's start with the views from the deck, it is ridiculous. This is the deck area and I can just imagine all your meals gets taken out here. There's some people on the deck over here. It's an open plan, which is pretty cool. But imagine if you will, in the mornings, the one thing I'm missing here is if they would have a fire on in the morning here, like we do at our camp, and you've got the view, sunrise is pretty much over there. It would be insane. But the views are, I mean, I'd, you can go far to beat these views. Anyway, so the deck's in the front here. It's an open plan so I'm into the lodge here now. And then even if it's windy and stuff like this, you've got glass covering the entire outside and walk you through the side. So for this trip, what we did is a lot of the times, the kitchen's over there, but what we did a lot of the time is we would come in here, which is like a library study type thing. John Masana. How you doing, man? Good. And we would do all our Lightroom in here. Beautiful space, eh? Just amazing. And outside, water feature. So it's all kind of built in and mingled together. In the lounge area. Actually, wait, the bathroom's here because you do come in here quite often. A circular thing, so right. So then, main lounge is your job, there's a communal area over here. Hello, how Hello <laughs> you guys doing? Yeah, Fantastic, you look amazing. All right. <laughs> then walking out, again, pretty cool feature here. It's a bit nerve-wracking the first time because you think your foot's going to get stuck in here. But um, water features and then down to where your safari guide would, um, would meet you. <coughs> you see, I forgot this road going. I'm going to show you the walk that we do. I think it's people just back from drive now. Okay, so this is where you would walk back to the rooms. There's 15 rooms in the north, 15 in the south, and then in between you've got the pool area, which I'll show you now. But um, in the evenings you have to be escorted to your room because it's dark as shit. First one down there. Um, so this kind of keeps going for a while. Let me chat to you in the meantime though. So, um, <coughs> oh yeah, yeah, sorry. So, every lodge has a good and a bad. The, to me, the more luxurious you go, the more difficult it becomes to keep the soul of a place. Um, it becomes a about the fancy rather than, I almost want to say the fun, but there's fun here. So the one big, big-ish, and it depends why you come here though. Uh, the one big thing for me here is the drive from the lodge. So the views are spectacular, but the downside to that is it's a hell of a drive from the bottom where you game view up to the lodge. Probably about a 20, 25 minute drive or so. And um, at the, in, for me in the beginning of the day, it's cool, right? Because you can see behind me, it's pretty, very pretty. Um, at the beginning of the day, it's cool because you're ready, you've woken up, you're full of coffee, you're going down, you're ready for the day to start. But 
at the end of the day, right? At the end of the day, when you finish your game drive and you kind of know you're now almost at the lodge, you got this 25 minute gap where it's like, oh Christ, can we just get there already? So that was a bit of a tough one, but um, it should not be a reason for you not to check this place out because it really, really is amazing. Let me flip you around. I'm gonna take you quickly to the pool area, uh, which is ridiculous. And then we'll, uh, I'll show you the room from there. Jumbo. <coughs> How you doing, man? Fantastic, thank you. Okay, so I was lucky enough to have the room right next to the gym. I only use it once though because we were out in the field all the time. But this pool and gym setup, the spas in here as well, is just unbelievable. Watch this now as we walk in here. That's quite amazing. You can sit on the side and have drinks. Chill, read your book back there. Or if you want to tan, you can tan there with that view, which is amazing. Then, if you are into the fitness side of things, check this gym. So for a hotel or lodge gym, it's pretty decent couple of weights, weight machine, one of those things that says they can do everything but they really can't. Two bikes, elliptical, two treadmills, balls, kettlebells. But I was running on this one yesterday. So if I get on here, check the view. Okay, me again. Bathrooms at the pool area. I need to show you the shop as well quickly because it's pretty sweet. Just some nice stuff. If shopping is your thing. <clears throat> Hello. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Yourself? I'm always good. Thank you. From an African point of view, you can pretty much put anything here. I was surprised, even sneakers. But all the goodies, all the curios, all the crafts. The one cool thing that they have here is they've got a beading station. So normally they've got the Maasai ladies sitting here, they're probably on lunch now. And they basically make stuff for you and they do it custom. So you can tell them exactly what you want. For example, <coughs> excuse me. My name on a belt, a flag, whatever. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, and they make it custom in a day or two, so that is pretty cool. Now, from a photography point of view, quickly, let me show you this before I um, head back to the room. Fuck, it's hot. Check this. So, the guys who run the Greatest Masamara photo competition work from here. And this is the photogra photography studio that they made. You can come and do Lightroom, rent lenses. Okay, so. Got a workstation, another workstation, some awesome images. You can print stuff here. <coughs> this is the winning images so far from the Massa Mara competition. Um, tripods, bean bags, books, imagery. Now, we rented a lens for my client here for the last couple of days, and it's an incredible service because you don't have to travel with it. So. That to me, really awesome, and um, definitely worth checking out when you come here. Oh, this is the competition. Oh, you see there. It's worth a look. Greatest Masa Mara photo competition, you'll find it. Okay, so out into the sun again. Fuck, it's hot. I'm gonna quickly show you the room. I did this on my Instagram, but for this vlog as well. One take through, it's a bit messy, I know. Shit happens. So, 
like I said, there's 30 rooms, which for a lodge is quite big, but in Kenya, not so much. Um, it is high-end luxury. Um, it's worth it. So where's my room now? See, Jono forgot his binoculars, and I've got to carry the things back to South Africa. Okay, um, it's not a problem. Okay, I'm gonna take you into my room here. Very quick look around, we'll wrap it up from there. Check it out. Number 13, thank God I'm not superstitious. Okay, so look at the outside door. Is that an inside compartment? Ooh, dark. And then inside, let me put this down. So again, the expansive views is everything. Glass all the way through. I leave these open when I sleep. Um, it's beautiful. Let me walk you around this way. So from the corner of the room, cupboard at the back, double bed, little sitting area over there, bath and stuff on that side. we will take you through here. So each room, small things, right? Each room comes with binoculars. Each room, if it's your thing, has whiskey and gin on tap. Sitting area, some pretty cool books to read over here. You have a bathtub, but the cool thing with the bathtub, the shower, and the toilet is everything, watch, bathtub, has a view. So bathtub view, here's a shower view, and then even, actually I'm gonna show you, there's a toilet, all right? But if I come in here, you actually have a view from there as well. Then, stock standard kind of lodgy hotel. Oh, in here is pretty cool. This opens up. Coffee station, you've got a mini, what's it called? Bar fridge down there. All inclusive. And that's about it. Um, <clears throat> what else can I tell you? It's a great experience. It's an awesome lodge. Upside for me is the views, and if you're into luxury, it's awesome. I'm very hot right now. Um, the downside for me is that hell of a drive from the bottom. It's a fucking nightmare, especially at the end of the day. Like I said, early morning, you kind of psyched for the day, but coming back at the end of the day, you wanna, and maybe this is me being over, over the top, but you wanna get back from your drive and take that same vibe and immerse yourself into the camp or the fire or dining room, whatever. That break, and maybe look, Again, maybe I'm over the top on experience, but that to me is a bit of a downside. Other than that, the lens rentals, the people's great. Um, the food's amazing. It's really worth a look. Anyway, I have to pack now. I'm off to South Africa tonight, then to Sabi Sands tomorrow, and I'll chat to you whenever I get a chance to do another one of these. It's very hot. Anyway, I'm Gama Mara. Check him out. My name is Jared from Wilder. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>